Now, the primary purpose of government is to protect life and property. That is why there is government at all. There is no responsible government that will want to take life. Because the reason for that government is to protect life and property. There is no responsible government also that will encourage any act that will take human life, particularly innocent life. If you know the challenge we had in Imo State before I became the government, it was not about banditry. It was not only kidnapping, even though we had that experience. But we had bigger challenges. And that was what was uppermost in our mind, to come and cure these challenges. The challenge of disorder. There was complete disorder in the state. Government access were not known. Nobody was accountable to anybody, including the citizens. According to Chima Echebe, if I can borrow for his book, things fall apart, and the centers are no longer closed. And the most people were mourning. Mourning because their lands have been taken. Mourning because the treasury of government has been looted. Mourning because there was, we didn't have public schools. Several servants were driven away. All of them had their shops in a tunnel while they live market all over. We prayed to God, all of us, that we deserve better than we have got. And God answered our prayers to possess it. Now we came January. 15th, 2020, we can. Because human memory sometimes is very short. Even before we get to March, people were already are busy now. We don't have road to pass. Every road, all the roads in Imo State are bad. What does government do it? But there was a government that stayed seven months before I came that couldn't do those roads because according to them it was already seen. If you would not give me any change, at least I know I can, that's why the rising season I started doing the road. I did not discriminate. There was already a commission of inquiry to address the issue of land grabbing in Imo State. When I saw the concept note, I supported it. And the, the, the team went a long way in curing the aggrieved mood of our people. And today, many of our people whose lands were taken have recovered their land. The reason why I'm taking time to speak to you Apart from I'm duty bound as the governor of the state to put things on the right perspective so that the innocent public will not be misinformed and then desperate politicians will take undue advantage of the misinformation and begin to worsen the situation in the United States. No government can function, bring the moral order to the society with that constructive and genuine partnership with the church, knowing fully well that our people are predominantly Christian. Therefore, not only that I'm a Christian, I don't take the leadership of the church for a right or for granted. This security in the name of state 
You know that Timo State was not, not this way before I came to become the governor by 2020. We had the Ensa saga. The Ensa saga, our young men and women who ordinarily wanted to do a genuine protest against the maltreatment of their group by the anti robbery gang of Nigerian police. The moment they started, politicians hijacked the exercise. And it became a scene of burning people's houses, burning down police stations, burning down local government headquarters, harassing men and women. Most of the destruction that they did during this exercise are yet to be recovered. As if it is not enough. You were here. The attack in Nigerian police headquarters and all the suspects there left. The attack in Nigerian prison. All the criminals that were in prison for the past that something years we are all released into the society to go and uh, make him state on governance. Government will not use stuff to work. Government can only use to recognize and license security agents. And today in Nigeria, it is either the Nigerian police, the Nigerian army, Department of Security Services, or the Air Force and Navy. Government now uses what it's supposed to use to begin to control, to protect our environment. Now, we were here, human heads were being beheaded. Traditional rulers were being kidnapped and killed. You know, so their bodies were being roasted and eaten. Our children became cannibals, eating human bodies. I watched. That starts our effort to fight banditry in Imo State. I had leaders, those who have been former government, those who have been senators, who have been SSG, who were in National Assembly, the political leaders. I thought leaders would come, get up, and condemn what is bad as bad. Only very few spoke up. Some other leaders became deaf and dumb because they were the sponsors of the bandit. It is true them. All of us who were here, the government of the state, my house was burnt now in the village. How many people got up to say, children, why do you have to burn a governor's house? This is bad. I checked all the newspapers. I read nobody, apart from one or two. The President General of Ohanel Zendibo, from our mom, Professor Ambassador George Ogiozo, one of our best, a national leader, his house was burned down to ashes. I watched the leaders who are going on condolence visits today in our mama, none spoke. We were here. So Ludo became the governor. Boys went straight to his local government, one than the local government. And all the newspapers were watched by an Anambra leader condemning the action. But in Imo State, it was almost becoming a caution. So I checked all this thing. Now, security agencies are human beings. And they cannot oppress without our support. Many of them already lost their lives. Too many policemen have been killed. Are we talking about policemen? Thank God the Lord Bishop is here in this church. He was kidnapped. And the dumps in a forest in Oguta. The Pope, the Pope, 
Trust me, later. The Papa knows you, spoke with me. We did not sleep for five nights before he was released to the glory of God. Now, we want to protect our people. But when you are there and your children comes along with AK for seven, the kind of guns that my grandmother don't even have, and you are not talking. And you don't ask them, where have you gone with this gun? What are you doing with this gun? You allow them to begin to embarrass society to the extent that they will become losers to the society. And then a responsible government will hold hands and watch. I don't want to be that type of government. There are one mama issue. I am from all this. I want mama is more than this. And they say charity begins at school. Why on earth will a governor want to pay for peace? People don't think sometimes. Among all of you going on condolence to Otulu, the event did not happen in Otulu. Have any of you taken time to visit where this thing happened? To see that it's a camp where bandits are camped. Because neither the traditional rulers from Otulu or our mama that came to me, nor any leader from there ever told me that this thing happened in a home. Even the young man they brought on television to say that he was the one who did marry, said to the public that the people left his marriage, that they were going for a meeting. Now, what is the meeting? Every Sunday evening, these boys will meet in their camp to plan how they will enforce the sister to order of Monday. The security agencies got the information because one of them were already arrested. And it was one of them that took the security agencies to their camp. What is the bag? I have a bag quite all right. But the bag is in good. DSS, with other security agencies, went to this camp. The moment the boys saw them, they opened fire on them. And they opened up fire back with them. This is the story. Now, all I hear, they went to a where traditional marriage was going on, they shot people. Simply because some people think until they become the governor of human state, they have no peace in human state. Now, in order not to further destroy the successes we have recorded, I want to pray you all of you. When you see any message on the social media, please take time to investigate. If need be, some people to find out the exact story. Because I have seen the level of desperation among some rich current politicians is becoming unbecoming. I have never, you know me, we know ourselves. I want to be accused that I'm embezzling government money, or I'm taking government property, or I have taken anybody's land as a government. If they accuse me, I'll be very happy. Now they have not seen any of those. All they say now is very expensive what we wish was. That's the only thing I find against me. I think you don't know who is who for the my name of state again. I challenge, yeah, I challenge, I challenge any politician to come and tell me one thing I've done against Imo people. Or to prove that either my dress, my watch, or my beauty, or I have built a new house. If anything is on record, that I'm the only governor who has spent three years without building a new house in Imo State. So, I want to plead with the church Please to so go further, do some investigations, so that also the security agencies don't abandon us to the hands of uh, non-state actors. Back to Catholic Church, this is where I am. This is where I was born. This is where I live. And in the Catholic Church, I will die.
So I will not do anything. And you know our training. Once the preaching only is going on, we have no right of reply. We will just listen and go home and then find that and do what the church has said. So I want to thank all of you, but I want to assure you, I want to use this opportunity to reassure you, it's not policy. That I have come for more people. It is because I don't want unnecessary life to be taken that this thing is lingering. Because I have said so many strategies, each one has its collateral damage. But I am not the, in, in charge, completely in charge of Nigerian police. I am not completely in charge of Nigerian Air Force or Nigerian Army. I'm just a governor answering chief security officer by mouth without a barrack. It is only the one I agree with them, they're able to do that they will do. But God forbid that day that I will see, encourage, or support anything that will take any life, no matter how the type of life. I believe that the, from the teachings of the church, if you get power through blood blessing, you will never have peace. If you acquire anything through blood blessing, you will never enjoy the church. That is my belief. And after 60 years, it will be difficult for any man to acquire new attitude. I've already formed my attitude and my belief. It's too late in the day to change. I cannot change. So I want to thank all of you. The security of Imo State has to be a collective responsibility. It cannot be done by the government alone. It is the government. Both the government, executive, the legislature, the judiciary, the community, and more importantly, the church. As a young man, growing up, we take more seriously the teachings from the church than even that of the traditional ruler. What has happened? The only thing is that the church uses on the power of uh, persuasion. But I think we need to partner with the church. We need your collaboration. We need your help. We must restore order to our public schools. We must restore order to our families and communities. And if we fail to do what we are supposed to do, what we don't expect will start happening in our society. But I think God will take that.